Good evening, fellow dragon fruit growers. This is Paul, and today I'm going to do a contest of Houghton versus El Grullo. So, a Selenoceris cetaceous versus Hyloceris ocamponis. Now, this one breaks to a 17. I already have it open, as you can see. It's a very dark, fleshed, beautiful fruit. And here's the brick score. You can see we had just done it, and I took a little taste, and it is delicious. I enjoy El Grullo personally. Now, I have not ever tried this Houghton here. So, you can see here that Houghton is a self-fertile variety and it's number 23 in Paul Thompson's unknown species list. And the plant's dark green, not horny, and it has a single spine, occasionally a double. Now, according to Matt's landscape, this variety is named after Arthur D. Houghton, 1870 to 1938 is when he was around. And he was a medical doctor, a hypnotist, and a botanist in Los Angeles. He wrote the Cactus Book, published in 1931, and I actually just ordered it today, so I'm excited to read it. Now here's some photos of the fruit, the oldest photos I could find from Matt's landscape. And it is similar looking to Sugar Dragon and Voodoo Child, which makes sense because it is the parent of those varieties. Houghton is the mother, one of the parent plants, I should say, of some of our favorite hybrids and varieties that we enjoy like sugar dragon so let's go ahead let's cut it open and let's compare these two and this one was a quarter pound this Houghton as you can see just weighed in at a quarter pound versus the El Grullo which weighed in at nine tenths of a pound or so so just comparing them you can see the size also the color this is what I consider a magenta that's what I consider a red fleshed so a nice dark red flesh versus a magenta, or some people call it fuchsia. So I'm really excited to taste my first Houghton, or some people say Houghton, but I believe it's Houghton. So let's see what it tastes like. I bet it's gonna be like Sugar Dragon. Hmm, Sugar Dragon has definitely improved. If you have to pick one, I'd go Sugar Dragon over this variety can tell you it's a little bit I don't, it's not earthy it's like green you know it is off of a cutting to be fair and it does taste sweet so it's not a bad variety but I just think that the hybrid the cross of Houghton and Rixford improved the seedlings are improvements over this parent plant and Paul Thompson says this one is sensitive to frost more sensitive I want to try it again before it bricks the other one juicy it's hard to describe it's just not quite as sweet or as as delicious as sugar dragon and I've eaten quite a few sugar dragons in my time one of my favorite varieties Let me get some of these juices out let's see what this scores so El Grullo was a bricks of 17 and this one is Probably about the same. Probably does get sweeter if, a, if it was off of a full-sized plant instead of just a cutting. The cutting was quite large. And 16 and 5 tenths. So I bet it would be sweeter off of a full-sized plant, but considering that they have about the same amount of sweetness, I'm gonna say that Houghton is about, this Houghton is about a seven out of 10. It's sweet and refreshing. It's been in the fridge overnight. It's just, it's not as good as Sugar Dragon. That's all I can say. It is good though. So seven out of 10. This is El Grullo. So Hyloceris ocamponis, much different. You can see it's the skin is nice and thin. It was on the plant for about 46 days, maybe a little bit longer, 46 to 48 days. I didn't keep track. I was out of town. Mm. And this, this fruit is less dense than the one I reviewed last year. Maybe because it's a bit more ripe. 
but I do not detect beets. Like people say, earthiness, yes. The seeds taste earthy to me. Maybe like a candied beet. I don't know, this is really a good fruit. A lot of people are saying, or some people I should say, are saying that Ocamponus is not good or El Grullo is not a very good fruit, but this one's really delicious. And it's definitely better than the one I tasted last year. So maybe a little bit longer on the plant improved, help improve the flavor. I really enjoy this. Out of the two, I can give this like almost a seven. Out of the two, this one tastes a little bit like maybe vegetable-y, I guess you could say, or earthiness. And this one almost tastes as good as Sugar Dragon, I guess is the best way to describe it. So going back to back, I'm gonna select Houghton as the winner. A bit more tropical flavored, like tropical fruit flavored, where this one tastes a bit more like earthy vegetables, not quite beets, but how do I describe this? Denser texture, mild flavor, mild berry flavor, mild berry and beets. Yeah, I guess it is kind of the best way to describe it, like a really sweet, not quite as dense beet. And I know that doesn't sound very appealing, but it's a good fruit. It's definitely a keeper in my collection. So there you go. Give us a like and a subscribe. Thank you so much for your time. Which one would you rather eat? El Grullo? Or Houghton? All right, let me know in the comments. I'd like to know which one you would rather try.